What is up flockers? That is my fellow lockers and aspiring lockers. In today's video, I am talking about the differences in micro locks versus traditional locks. So if you're on the fence trying to figure out which is right for you, or maybe you're just wondering the differences between the two, then I'm gonna share some of those with you today. So stick around. The first difference, or not even difference, but just the first thing that I wanted to mention with micro locks and traditional locks is the installation method. Now, typically when you think of traditional locks, more often than not, especially online, you're gonna find people that start with a couple of methods over some of the others, but honestly, at the end of the day, you can start locks with any method. It doesn't matter whether they're traditional or they're micro. So you can start both traditional and micro locks with interlocking. You can start them with a two strand twist. You can start them with braids like mine. You can start them with comb coils. You can start them with the comb back method. Uh, you can start them with the instant lock method. And you can start them with a crochet method if you wanna use a crochet hook. So that is one cool thing that no matter what type of lock you want at the end of the day, you can start them with any of the methods. So it's really up to you, personal choice, if you're doing it yourself or if you're going to a loctician, maybe they have su suggestions or recommendations depending on your hair density um, and what look you're trying to go for in the end. But at the end of the day, you can start any lock method with any installation method and it'll come out looking good at the end if it's done well. The time to mature. Now I've had several sets of traditional locks and now I have a set of micro locks. And I would say that honestly, the maturation time with your locks is pretty similar. It all really depends on your hair type and how your hair locks itself and how quickly it decides to wind up and whatnot. Now your installation method also is very influential on the time that it takes for your locks to mature. But I don't really think that there's a difference in like, oh, if you get traditional locks, your locks are gonna mature so much faster than if you have micro locks. Or if you have micro locks, your locks are gonna mature faster. It's not about the size of your lock. It's about the starter method and your curl pattern and all of those things and what you're doing to your hair. The maintenance also can be the same between the two. Now, typically people who have traditional locks, for the most part, aim or go towards retwist. And for the most part, people with micro locks and the tinier locks lean towards interlocking. But honestly, I've seen people interlock micro locks. It's doable, you can totally do it. And I've seen people interlock traditional locks. It's honestly all up to your discernment, your discretion, what you want to do and how you want to spend your time. There are benefits and there are drawbacks or negatives to each of them. So with retwisting, regardless of whether you have thicker locks or thinner locks, you know, traditional or micro, it's going to be a quicker method. It's just quicker because, you know, you're able to go in, palm roll or twist really quickly. Whereas with interlocking, you have to use a tool and you have to, regardless of whether you're doing two point, three point or four point rotation, it just is more time consuming. Uh, but you can do either on either style. So it's just up to you. And then, you know, with interlocking, it might take longer, but it's going to last a lot longer. Whereas a retwist may only last for a couple of weeks. A retie is going to last for several weeks. Whereas with the retwist, if you go jump in a pool or go and jog and sweat a bunch, you're going to end up frizzing up and, you know, unraveling the work that you did with interlocking you don't have to worry about that so it's one of those time over look things so if you're more concerned about the time it takes then maybe you want to lean towards retwisting if you're more concerned about how long it lasts and not having to worry about it looking frizzy for a longer period of time and unraveling then maybe retightening is the way to go or interlocking now i would say that there is a difference on how locks are viewed in the workplace and in society when it comes to traditional locks and micro locks that's something that i have seen in my own personal experience of a very stark difference uh, anytime i had traditional locks i had multiple people asking me questions you know they automatically whether it was here in america or in other countries asking me if i smoked the ganja and stuff like that specifically because i had locks I've had a lot more comments asking about 
washing my hair and the cleanliness of my hair when I had traditional locks, all because of misconceptions, which I have videos on misconceptions of locks on my channel. But yeah, just the misconceptions of locks and, and people when they see traditional locks already have these preconceived notions in their head. Whereas with micro locks, because they are so much smaller, a lot of times they don't look like locks, especially from further away, um, you know, in the workplace and whatnot, maybe it is deemed more professional or it can pass because they can pass as loose natural hair or look like tiny braids or something as opposed to locks. And so, you know, I haven't had anybody ask me since I've had these for over three years, if I've smoked ganja or had any rasta or anything like that, it's just not the same association for whatever reason, which is crazy to me, because at the end of the day, they're all locks, it's just different sizes. But society and whatnot, for whatever reason, has deemed thicker locks a certain way. And I think maybe society just hasn't caught up and hasn't realized that the thinner locks are locks sometimes, and maybe they think it's something else. I don't know, it's weird but it is what it is. And I've had to cut my locks for jobs before in the past. I've had jobs tell me that they loved me, that I did great in the interview, but in order to work in that field or that profession, I would have to cut my locks. Once was for a law firm. Yeah, even though I never had any interactions with clients or anything like that, it was all work within an office, uh, post litigation work, I still had to cut my hair in order to work at the law firm office. Again, never, never any type of contact or face with clients or anything like that. I didn't even speak to clients on the phone. It was all just paperwork and, and filing and stuff like that. So it was strange, but it is what it is. Great thing about locks is that washing is a breeze. Your wash days compared to if you have loose natural hair is a breeze. You're not having to detangle and do all the bustle and bustle that you have to do. Typically, it's a lot less products. It's a lot less time. It's a lot less maintenance and just stress that you have to go through on the wash day. So washing, whether you have micro locks or traditional locks is wonderful and it's just a lot quicker and easier. And I really don't see a difference from my time with traditional locks versus micro locks when it comes to the actual washing process. Where I do see a difference from my hair, I can't speak for everyone, but from my hair, when it comes to traditional locks and micro locks is where um, the dry time. So after I've washed my hair or even if I were swimming and it got wet, the time that it takes my hair when it was in traditional locks to dry versus the time that it takes for them to dry when it's in micro locks was significantly different. Uh, if I would wash my hair, if it would get wet in the very early morning with traditional locks because they're thicker, they held water and you know, it's just, it took longer to dry. So it could take an entire day, sometimes a day and a half for my hair to dry if I didn't you know, use a blow dryer. Whereas with my micro locks, if I wash my hair in the morning, my hair is gonna be dry by mid afternoon. Um, and if it's really hot outside, you know, sometimes within a couple of hours, my hair is dry. And so when I had my traditional locks, I typically wouldn't wash my hair and then go out because like I said, it just retained so much water. So I had a lot of weight. And um, that's another thing with my traditional locks, they felt heavier when they were wet. With the micro locks, they feel a lot lighter so even though I had the same, to my knowledge, the same amount of hair on my head with the different sets of locks, it just feels different and the dry time is definitely different. So again, neither are a deal breaker, it's just things to consider. It's about personal preference, look, and the different things that you desire out of your lock journey. And I honestly don't think you can go wrong with locks regardless of what you choose, how you choose to start and all of that. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button so I know what type of content you're enjoying and also hit the subscribe button so that you can join the flock. And before you go anywhere, check out some of the other videos that have popped up on the screen. I'll see you there.